Other news now, Lexington's Olympic star Tyson Gay visibly upset yesterday during the trial of four men arrested in connection to the murder of his daughter. 15 year old Trinity Gay was killed nearly two years ago in a parking lot here in Lexington. LEX 18's Timothy Jackson has more on the developments happening today. After a long day of emotional testimony yesterday, the trial will pick up back here at 830 this morning at the Fayette County Courthouse. Prosecutors put a face to the name for the jury to see who Trinity was. Trinity died in a shooting between two groups in October of 2016. Prosecutors say a stolen gun led to the killing of the 15 year old who was in the parking lot of the cookout restaurant with a crowd of people in the early morning hours. Chaz Taylor is charged with murder. Police believe it was his gunfire that killed Trinity. Taylor's attorney claims he only shot in the air to disperse the scene after a robbery. Three other men face wanton endangerment all deny committing a crime. Trinity's mother didn't know the teen had slipped out of her home until Trinity's dad called that night. Here is what she told the jury about that confusing call. Where's Trinity? Uh, what's the other one? And I was like, Trinity's in her room. And he said, no, she's not. And I said, yes, she is. And he said, no, she's not. She's not in her room. I heard she got shot. And again, that trial will continue here in just a few hours at the Fayette County Courthouse. We will, of course, be in the courtroom and we'll bring you the latest throughout the day on LEX 18 News. For now, we're covering the news in Lexington from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom. Back to you. 637 new on Sunrise. A Northern Kentucky man has been found guilty in a sexual abuse case from nearly 30 years ago. Commonwealth attorney for Boone and Gallatin counties announcing yesterday that Clyde Crawford sexually abused a woman who is now in her 30s when she was a little girl only six years old. It took a jury in Boone County 14 minutes to find Crawford guilty of sodomy and sexual abuse. The man accused in a deadly shooting in Knox County last month, which stemmed from car troubles, is now charged with murder. Investigators say Glenn Edwards' truck got stuck in Glenn Powell's driveway on Higgins Hollow Road. Edwards left to get help, and when he returned with another man, Powell allegedly went inside, grabbed a weapon, then shot Edwards in the back, killing him. Powell was later shot by the other man. He was taken to a Tennessee hospital but has since been released and extradited to Knox County where he is facing murder charges. The man who shot him will not be charged. 638 now, a 61 year old man has been missing in Lake Cumberland since yesterday morning. He had gone swimming off a houseboat and went underwater. LEX 18's Claire Kofsky following the latest developments now. She joins us right here in the studio. Claire and Chris, this morning the search continues for the man, but the search mission was changed to a recovery mission last night. Officials at Lake Cumberland say the 61 year old man went for a swim with another person yesterday morning and around 11 a.m. Central Time he disappeared. Multiple rescue teams spent several hours searching for the missing man near Wolf Creek Dam. They used everything from sonar equipment to dive teams to search for him yesterday. We're told the man is from another state. Claire and Chris, such a sad ending to a visit to the lake. Back to you. Claire Kopsky, thank you. Just clicking over to 639 now. And this morning, a school district in Hardin County will be closed due to a threat of violence. That's right. Officials with the Elizabethtown Independent School District say they are calling off classes out of an overabundance of caution. There are seven schools affiliated with the E-Town Independent